This is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Artistic Wire 3D Bracelet Jig to make a expandable charm bangle. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it with beads and adding a charm. We do also have another video showing you how to do the basic technique of creating one of these bangles. And you might wanna watch that video before trying this technique. It's just a little bit more complicated, but still very nice and easy. So let's get started. So for this project, what you're going to need is you're going to need a charm, and I have the Buddha Charm by Tierra Cast. I have some four millimeter metal beads. I have my artistic wire jig, and we're going to be using two of the pegs and two of the backs today. I have my 18 gauge craft wire. I have my measuring tape here. You can also use a ruler. I have my mandrel or you'll be able to use something that is uh, cylindrical from your house. I have my bent chain nose pliers, wire rounder tool, nylon tip pliers, and my flush cutters. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my artistic wire jig. I'm gonna take one of the pins and I'm gonna put it at the top there and I'm gonna go ahead and add the back. Now I'm gonna move a few pegs to the left on the second row and add my second pin. And now my artistic wire jig is all set to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my 18 gauge craft wire and I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of it out. Leaving it on the spool, it helps to give you a better grip. I'm gonna take my nylon tip pliers and go ahead and straighten that wire out. It's okay if it's a little curved because we're just gonna curve it anyway. So now I'm going to leave the wire on my spool and I'm going to start threading my beads. So let me go ahead and set some of this aside. And you can do it in any way you like. I'm just gonna kinda alternate my silver, if I can, <laughs> my silver and gold beads. And again, these are just four millimeters. I have round, and then I'm alternating with the silver bicones, just to give it a little, little sparkle and a little pop. And you're going to thread on until you have about six inches of beads. Okay, so I'm just gonna check that I have about six inches and it can just be rounded and that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. So now I have six inches of beading onto my wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slide that down and by keeping your wire on the spool, this will sort of act as your bead stopper as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my jig and I'm going to wrap under and down and you can wrap it around and it's okay if your beads start to come up here you can actually go ahead and slide them down so you just keep wrapping around the jig and just go up and over and now you'll get to your second peg here and you're just going to wrap So just like that. So it looks a little messy now, but don't worry. Go ahead and take your flush cutters and you're gonna cut off that end of the wire so you can put your spool down. And then you can go ahead and clip this here as well. And go ahead and set that scrap of wire aside. So now you're gonna remove it from the jig and just undo your pins here and just be careful because it will spring off a little bit. And now you're done with your jig. So now this is what your bracelet will look like. So what we're gonna do first is I'm going to take my wire rounder tool here and just clean up those ends. Much better. And on both sides. There we go. 
So now you're gonna go ahead and take your chain nose pliers and just bend it in and bend it up to give it that nice 90 degree angle. And again with this one, go ahead and bend it in and bend it up. There we go. Make sure that's nice and straight. And now before we bend it around our mandrel, we're gonna actually add the charm. So go ahead and you're gonna open one of these just as you would a jump ring. And you can actually leave it open. There we go. Oops, put that on backwards. So my charm hangs like that. So now go ahead and take your mandrel. And what you're gonna do is at about like your six and a half to six inch mark here, you're just going to bend it around the mandrel just to give that wire a nice curve. And this will help sort of with that spring action that you're gonna want for your expandable bangle. There we go. Just give it that nice curve. Okay, so now you can see that it's a little bit smaller to work with and it's already sort of overlapped nicely. So now you just slide your beads around and keeping your charm in the middle, all you're going to do is, let's get that going the right way, there we go. You're going to open one side like a jump ring and slide it on and close that up. And keeping your charm in the center, you're going to do the same with the other side. And just close that up, because it was still open from when I put the charm on. All right, so now we just kind of use our fingers, and you can use your nylon pliers to sort of help form that into shape just a little bit. I'm actually gonna use my chain nose pliers to give that a nice little bend that I want. And there you go. There we go. Fix it a little bit. All right. Okay, I'm actually glad this happened. This is a little different than the one I made earlier, which is a little bit tighter. You can see that my beads still move a little bit, but this is a little too much for me. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it, actually. Sometimes we make mistakes and it's easy for us to show you how to fix it because then you can fix it yourself at home. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhinge one of my sides here from the bracelet and I'm going to unhinge the other side. So basically you just go back a step. So now my bracelet is separated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mandrel and I'm going to go a little bit higher as to one of the smaller spots and I'm going to bend it around that to give it that little extra spring. So a little bit smaller. There we go. Taking it off. And again, just go ahead and slide your beads out from that center. You can leave beads in the center. That's a design choice if you like. There go, slide them out. And now I'm just going to sort of put that bracelet back together, just using those chain nose pliers. All right, and there we go. It's much tighter now. So that's the look that I wanted. You, like I said, you can add more charms, you can add less beads to the outside if you wanna add thicker beads. So there you have it. That is how to complete an adjustable wire bangle using the Artistic Wire 3D Bracelet Jig, adding beads and a charm. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can get all of these supplies and watch more videos at vitaholic.com.